Pete. Yep. Ah. ah, is that Twilight there? Yep, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> Last minute. <laughs> yeah, yes. I, was, I was using the bathroom. Sorry. <laughs> All right, Candyman. <laughs> All right. Anyway, um, we need you to check the sound up on the channel. Motherfucker, I now realize what I forgot to do. What did you forget <laughs> to do? Give um, Gullocks and Twilight um, moder like admin rights. Yeah. I guess there's still time to do that. Yeah, I'm I'm at oh. Thank you, Edge, for not being terrible. <laughs> um where is that? Permissions. Um Yeah, I can hear us. Twilight, can you PM me your email address? Uh sure. Yeah, I don't think you want that spouted off on air, just a hunch. Obviously. <laughs> um, okay. yeah. uh, uh, let's see. So since we're on air, uh, greetings one and all. Welcome to, I suppose, the technical pre-show of the Fragments of Silicon View and React Party to the September Nintendo Direct. I know we're about uh, one of 100,000 channels that are doing this right now, but, mm. you know, sometimes you have to roll with the tide, so to speak. Right. Oh. Um, yeah, Twilight and Petty Fan are here. Gallic should be by, you know, here by, you know, the top of the hour. Um, once again, Kevin is not joining us because, you know, he's in Atlanta. And uh, Ogre? Oh, he never expressed interest in joining, so. Hmm. No, just probably just going to be the core. Group. I actually think he might act be making dinner because we raid in a little over an hour. True, but he's also aware of the Nintendo Direct, and I know he will at least watch the Nintendo Direct. Yeah. So. I mean, he could be making dinner. Yeah, and he could be watching it on his phone, too. Like, uh, yeah. I I don't know. Anyway, uh, so I suppose it's customary before these things start, we should start, you know, speculating on what the Nintendo Direct could contain, other than what we've been told. You yeah. Know, um, you know, we, we know we've got upcoming Nintendo 3DS and Nintendo Switch titles. So this isn't one of, you know, one of those where the 3DS gets ignored. I know that this is some people off, but Nintendo hasn't abandoned the thing yet, so mm -hmm. just have to deal. I'm like, how much like as how much new stuff we get? Um, I don't know. Like, c mm -hmm. considering that, well, you know, what do we got on the table for the 3DS? We've got Luigi's Mansion, which is coming out in October, and we got what? Um, Bowser's Inside Story, the uh, the remake coming in 2019. Yep. So there's a fair amount of wiggle room for new titles uh, for the 3DS. You know, and as far as um, three uh, third party um, projects for the 3DS, the only major one I can think of is Persona Q2. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, hang on. Hi, what's up? Hi. Um, we're doing um, the pre-show antics. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're doing Nintendo Direct speculation because we've got ten, ten minutes to kill. Yeah, ten minutes to kill. Yeah, we're speculating on what 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 might the 3DS be showcased today? Where's the primary source for this? Uh, I, I got link. Twitch. I, I'm like, hang on, I got the YouTube link. All right, yeah. I'm just trying so, to put whichever, well, probably whichever one you guys are watching is better so that I, one yeah. of us isn't like 30 seconds ahead. I'm just on <laughs> no Twitch idea. because it's easier to hide the chat. I don't know. I, I have no <clears throat> problem hiding the YouTube. But yeah. Um, yeah. Anyway. That's, what, that's why I was asking because I can, I can never remember which one is like 20 seconds faster than the other one. Yeah. Anyway. Um, uh, 
Yeah, sorry. Getting back to what I was saying, um, there's a lot that could be done for the 3DS. Nothing specifically comes to mind, though, because, you know, at the no matter how much Nintendo is supporting the system, it's mm. still in its final years. Yeah, like, we don't know what they're doing with it going forward. You know, yeah. if they're going to keep it around as, like, a less expensive option to the Switch, or are they going to make kind of like a cheaper version of the Switch that doesn't have the um, docked mode type thing? It's just purely a handheld console. Well... Well, it's also like um, you're not pro you're not going to see another mainline Mario or Mario Kart or mm -hmm. Zelda uh, at this point. No, um, it, it's gonna like honestly uh, that thing's been regulated to like spinoff material for a while, and even then, like um, we've been dropping in importance. Mm -hmm. So. I mean, I expect people, to, you know, I expect uh, a reminder on Luigi's Mansion and um, Bowser's Inside Story, mm -hmm. at the very least. I'm like, but outside of that, maybe some more eShop stuff. Although, yeah, the third Dylan's Rolling Western game really didn't, um, you know, really didn't do any business because those, um, those games have always seemed neat but they never really grabbed me you know I, I, I suppose I, I suppose it, it, but what I'm getting at is releasing um, 3DS eShop stuff at this point um, you're not going to get a lot of notice mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah the, the new hotness is the switch yeah yeah the, the, uh, no doubt about that. And as far as what we're going to see for the Nintendo Switch, I'm like, well, one of the things... I mean, we can kind of guess based on stuff that's come out in the last few days since the original. Well, yeah, that, that's, what I'm, uh, that's what I'm trying to get to. Like, um, one of the things to keep in mind is this thing was originally supposed to debut a week ago. Hmm. And... We don't know, we may never know if this thing got reworked. But, like, if we see uh, some sort of announcement for, like, Civilization VI or Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles, mm -hmm. um, you know, that's going to be pretty solid proof that um, no sort of alteration actually happened. Like, um, but... Um, another thing we do know is that we are going to get the full skinny on the Nintendo online service. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. Yep. Mainly because it's launching next week. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, um, that was probably, you know, I I'll be honest. I was always expecting the Nintendo online stuff to be mentioned. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so... And we do, and we do know that. The, we do know the pricing structure. Um, we do know um, the twenty NES games that'll be showing up at launch. Mm -hmm. Like, but um, thing like, and we got information on the cloud saves. Like, people are not um, happy about the cloud saves. Well, that's because the cloud saves don't apply to every game. Mm -hmm. It's like, also, Nintendo's the only platform who has you... As I understand it, you have to pay for the cloud saves. Um, Microsoft has a free option, but it's not a lot. But PS4, you have to pay for cloud saves. Oh, I guess I was mistaken mm -hmm. on that note. I don't know, it's like, you know, the, the whole... The whole pain for this shit is just so alien to me because I game on the PC where paying for you don't fucking pay for online on the PC. You don't fucking pay for cloud saves on the PC. Yeah, I mean, you, do, you do, but it's part of paying for your internet. No, you. Yeah, I mean, Steam doesn't fucking charge for cloud right. saves. Yeah. 
I mean, I'm pretty even... sure if Valve could go back in time and see what will, with the knowledge of what people would be willing to pay for it, then we'd be at a very different ecosystem right now. Well, yeah. That being said, those floodgates are, are closed. Yeah, j just ask um, Games for Windows Live how that went. Yeah. <laughs> now, I think I recall seeing that um, free-to-play games shouldn't have on shouldn't have paid online, which trust, like, I do know the PlayStation doesn't charge the free-to-play stuff. Yeah, the that. only exception with that is Final Fantasy XIV also is not charged because it has its own subscription model. Got I wonder if that's also true for the Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, no idea. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, I'd imagine it would be if that's the case. So, but yeah, po uh, point of order is um, that's the thing that needs to be clarified. Um, you know, j uh, like I I'm sure Nintendo is going over is going to go over their horrible, horrible chat um, service. Like, mm -hmm. And here's the thing. I, I realize this is to protect the kids, but Jesus Christ, Nintendo. Well, it's like we know that Switch can do this shit because Fortnite does it. Mm -hmm. like, for like, Fortnite actually has the voice chat in the game. Because, yeah. you know, what Fortnite wants to do, usually Fortnite wants to do. It Almost like it's the most watched game on Twitch right now. Yeah. <laughs> Among other things. So. It makes all the money. Yes. Yes, it does. Well, you know... It, three you know, minutes. Yeah, three minutes. So, other people. Uh, predictions. Hmm... Mm. All right. Really, um, yeah, I was like, I don't really know. Like, yeah, I haven't I been. I don't usually try and predict stuff. Like, I mean, okay. we just had E3, so the only thing I can really think of is probably gonna be yeah. maybe some more Smash stuff. That's a oh, yeah. strong possibility. And we're then, yeah. yeah, it's like we might. We're probably gonna start off with another character reveal. Like, they <laughs> might. They might show off a, a new trailer for Prime Four. Then again, they might save that for... Well, TGS just happened, didn't it? TGS is actually ongoing right now, but Nintendo never participates in it. So. Ah. Yeah. And then we're in, like, if we don't hear anything from Prime 4 now, it's probably going to... Next time we hear about it is near E3 next year. I'm like, um, Animal Crossing, do you think it'll show up today? It might. I, I, it could, but... The most the most hopeful thing I'm looking for is maybe a port of New Leaf. Like, I'm not sure where else they can take the series. Well, I mean, that's up to them to figure out. Yeah, but yeah. that that's... I imagine that's partly why we haven't gotten anything, because there's really nowhere else you can go. Well, mind you, the you know, City Connection wasn't exactly um, much of an upgrade from previous Animal Crossing titles. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, uh, that was the Wii one. Yeah. Um, let's see. And it wasn't too long ago that mobile one came out, too. Um, mm -hmm. let's see. Uh, any... What do you think, like, um, Wii U ports, are there any left to, to bring to the to the system? Um, well, there's obviously Twilight Princess HD and Wind Waker HD, because they're right. Zelda games. Yeah. Um... I could, instead of porting, maybe, like, an upgraded sequel of Nintendo Land would be interesting. Hmm. Yeah. Though, I, I, I doubt we'd be getting that this year. Well, here's, the, uh, well, the thing, the port I've been hearing about is New Super Mario Brothers U. Ah. Uh -huh. Hmm. Which I don't is... feel like that's super necessary, but I guess they could probably do it pretty easily. Yeah, I'm like, uh... I'm like, I would much rather see, like, uh, Super Mario 3D World if they're going to port one of the um, Wii U Mario games. Mm-hmm. Like, um, uh, yeah, and let's see. What oh, else? we're starting.
Well, there's rated M games, so we might be hearing about Doom. Yeah, there we go. Ah! <laughs> loud noises. Someone's piping their sound through the thing. I, Luigi's Mansion. <laughs> oh, come on! Error occurred. Fuck you, you two. Twix still works. Hang on. Just... Oh, three! Get... Oh, Luigi's Mansion 3! Huh. Oh, that... man. That was unexpected. Indeed. Come on, you stupid well, fucking hello, YouTube page! I'm Shinya Takahashi, and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. As you just saw, we kicked things off with a new reveal. And I'm pleased 2019. To that Luigi's next spooky adventure is in development for Nintendo Switch. Great. I have a lot to say about the game, but I'll have to save that for another time. Now, let's cover some upcoming God, games on YouTube. 3DS. Please take a look. The pink puffball gets crafty again. Hawaii. <laughs> The 2010 Wii game Perfect Epic Yarn is warping to Nintendo 3DS. Oh! In Patchland, practically everything, from enemies to obstacles and who knows what else, mm. is entirely made of yarn. Right. Even robots. Okay, here we go. Somehow, Extra Epic Yarn. Mm. Uh, another Kirby game. Moves made of yarn. Kirby's oh, Epic Yarn. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> Kirby's and the Nintendo yard. 3DS version is also being puffed up with some new features. Huh. I might see about getting that for my mom. You can craft bigger she likes balls, Kirby. Or you can even conjure up some Does she have a 3DS? Yep. For a little added challenge, see if you can outrun this speed demon of a devil in devilish. Well, I guess it makes sense since they ported Yoshi's Rolling World to 3DS. Mm. Yeah. The real question is, will this need a new 3DS, or will it use a regular one? Once again, it's not a new game, it's a Wii game. Yeah. I guess that's about the level we're getting for the 3DS. Yeah. I think I saw a life bar there, has a bad which the original did not have, so. And the only ones who can save it are Mario, Luigi, and Bowser? It can only be Mario, Luigi, Bowser's inside story. There's another side to every story, even this one. Now you can go on Bowser Jr.'s journey as well. So Bowser's inside story in and adventure. something Bowser for... Bowser Jr. sets off to find his own remedy for the blorbs. See? Yep. Yeah. Thanks to his signature selfishness, he ends So another Mario and Luigi uh, remake gather some allies with also another side for a side uh, Create mode. Create your own formations mm -hmm. and become allies with an arsenal of moves and conquer the chaos in every action-packed battle. Oh goody! Bowser Jr. <laughs> for Bowser Jr. Like Jr. Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story plus Bowser Jr.'s Journey releases on Nintendo 3DS January 11th. Oh God! While you're waiting for the new game on Indeed. Nintendo Switch, don't forget that the original Luigi's oh. Mansion is coming to Nintendo 3DS. That comedically spooky. Oh, two-player mode and Luigi's Mansion. Two-player mode making cool. its debut in the Nintendo 3DS version. If you and another player each own the game, one of you can play as this even greater guy as you explore the mansion together. <laughs> or if only one of you has the game, you can still play boss battles together in the gallery using download play on your Nintendo 3DS systems. Oh yeah. Huh. I'm not sure if I should find that creepy or not. Oh no, it's green screen, green screen Luigi. Luigi when he talks to <laughs> Each of the four compatible amiibo yeah. has a different effect. Mm. Luigi's Mansion will haunt Nintendo 3DS on October 12th, just God. in time for Halloween. Yo-Kai Watch Blasters is out now. Mm. Even more Come on. Coming later. Whether your allegiance is with the Red Cat Corps or the White Dog Squad, Yokai Watch Blasters will let you team up with friends to tackle the most action-packed battles in the series hmm. yet. Soon after hmm. launch, 
You'll have another way to squat up. You won't want to miss the free software update on September 27th, which adds the Moon Rabbit Crew version to the title screen. This additional content oh. boasts new bonuses for linking save data between the Red All right. and the White Dog. That's a, that's a thing that exists. Yeah, it is. You know yeah. yeah, Yokai Watch had some weird spin off games and in between. Big Boss Yokai. Yeah, I think this came out in Japan, what, two years ago? Uh, at least a year ago, yeah. And if you don't, now is the perfect time to become a fan. Yokai Watch Blasters is out now. And don't forget about the Moon Rabbit Crew update. That's all the headlines for Nintendo 3DS. Hmm. How's it going? Well, from here, let's focus on Nintendo Switch titles. Please take a hmm. I will entirely forget about that. Time. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> oh man, Splatoon 2 is getting more maps. Splatoon 2 is always getting more maps. Yep. God. Oh cool. The Nintendo logo in Squidlish. I guess technically they did say that they were going to keep adding contents longer than they had originally planned, so... Okay. So we're not going full anime opening. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. I dare you. <laughs> I cannot read Squidlish that well. Somebody's probably deciphered it. It scares me that you can read it at all. Honestly, most of the letters are pretty similar to either English letters or katakana. Or hiragana sometimes. So that is less surprising. Oh geez, are they finally bringing back, uh, what's his name? No, it doesn't look like it. <clears throat> Uh, is that a new special? I think uh, that's a new special. I think so. It's a giant hammer. Either that or it's a really, really weird slosher. Or not slosher, uh, roller. Yeah, that that was an anime opening we just saw. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's favorite blue robot makes his triumphant oh, return. Oh, hi, Mega Man. Mega Man 11. Marking the 30th yep. anniversary of the iconic series, this brand new game is gunning for greatness on Nintendo Switch. Jump, slide, and shoot. Somebody's audio is real loud. Yeah, I'm, I'm hearing someone too. In timeless fashion, me. you must defeat the eight robot masters and get each of their special weapons. The technological miracle of the new double gear system makes for a fresh take on the series satisfying platforming action. Moves so fast that time slows down around. Yes, yeah, so I know how to make a man. Temporarily enhanced uh, weapons and show. So I have reservations about the fact that they're apparently changing several Mega of the bosses' names in this game. supports the Mega Man amiibo figures. Like Bounce Man. Yeah, Bounce Man has been officially revealed as Rubber items. Man in Japan. Impact Man is Pile Man. I mean, <laughs> would you expect any less? Mario they Tennis generally have not changed Robot new Man Master names. Some popular characters are joining the roster. Alright, well then. The adorable all round ace, Birdo. Ah, uh, this I mean, is the changed a sharp shooting This is the piss break Shia. section. Yeah. <laughs> the proud high flyer, hey, they Koopa Paratrooper. And the big boss with no racket, PD Piranha. These Mushroom Kingdom greats can be acquired by playing online. And we'll be adding more until next June. Oh, until there next June? Jesus. Called co -op Challenge. It'll let you participate in online co-op missions that are only available for a limited time. Complete the objectives while these missions are active, and you'll receive special outfits, characters with alternate color schemes, and more. We'll continue serving up new content for the mm. game in the future. The version 2 update for Mario Tennis Aces will be available September 19th. <laughs> These arcade classics are back in action. 
Oh man. Back in the day, Capcom lit up the arcades with some classic beat 'em up action games. Huh. And guess what? Capcom. The good old days are back. Real damn. Final fight. Capcom beat 'em up fun. The King of Dragons. Jesus Christ. Captain Commando. Well then. What? Knights of the Round. I haven't heard and fucking Captain combat. Commando the in years. Home console releases. <laughs> Armored Warriors. And battle circuit. Ah, shit. There's no battle circuit. A total of seven games. Well, there is now. <laughs> there we go. Yep. I, that is like Aspiring one of the holy, can even take the uh, forgotten holy chalices of uh, beat em ups. <laughs> oh, and this uh, one for online is gonna know. This one's gonna require um, online payment thing to play online, is what's said in the small print. Most things are. New Super Mario Brothers yeah. U is getting the deluxe treatment. Oh, it's it's here. Take down Bowser and his Koopalink yep. invasion in the tried and true side scroller ah, So the rumors were true. Mario, Luigi, and Toad yeah. are all here. This one I heard about not enough. Oh, okay. and are oh god, what the fuck? Well then. Damage from enemies, which can really come in handy. And if Toadette powers up with a super crown, ta-da! She transforms into Peachette. Peachette can yeah. double jump. Uh, Slowly oh, oh, okay, that's interesting. Toadette is a better player than freaking Luigi's first starring Toad. role in a platforming no offense, adventure. Or yellow Super Toad. Luigi U is getting the deluxe treatment too, and comes free that's of charge. That's a thing. A single Joy-Con controller is all a player needs, and up to four players can join in together, anytime, anywhere. New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe comes down the pipe January 11th. Nintendo Switch is... Yes! Are you? <laughs> oh god! Katamari Kamashi! Well, man. I am hurt. Katamari is greatness. Remastered in HD. Katamari is love. Katamari is life. Katamari is life. Now I'm kind of curious about this because last I heard was that the guy who was like in charge of the series. I think this is the remastering of the original one. Yeah, it is. Okay. It's a Demasi remake. Yeah, that's Demasi. The, the later entries in the series after a certain point, kind of. After the second one didn't have his involvement. Mm, and, and roughly what is being point. said here is that that's not a, really a consideration since, you know, it's the first Katamari right. Winter Well, no, I was also wondering what the, uh, like, if there were any weird rights we things. Shouldn't be. Okay, I mean, I'm not surprised if there isn't. And online stuff. Oh, here we go. Well, we already know the launch date. We prepared a video to show you what's offered with your Nintendo Switch online membership. So please take a look. More games, more features, more fun. Nintendo Switch Online. Allow us to introduce five features included with your membership. I I'm not sure paying for online is all that fun. <laughs> You can play compatible games together online. Well, they're gonna try. Make it look fun. <laughs> well, hopefully it'll be supported well enough that it's. Or team up for some great co-op action. There are so many ways to have fun. Hey, remember these uh, online games? Are supported. These games you could so play online for free beforehand. Mm -hmm. That's not the best um, way to start out. Yeah. Can even play classic NES games anytime, anywhere on Nintendo Switch. Oh. Get lost in the gameplay. Whether you're the boss. Oh, hey, the so there are going to be third-party NES games. games. Each player can grab a Joy-Con oh. controller. That still doesn't make Ghosts and Goblins any more worthwhile to play. You can share in the no, no, it doesn't. NES games can also be played online. As they say, <laughs> we're ice <laughs> getting long distance matter. makes the heart grow fonder. Look forward to a growing library of NES games. No one has ever said this in the history of anything. <laughs> okay. Indeed. 
Luigi, they're just revealing no games. Um, try to be. Something yeah, it looks like most of the old virtual console lineup, you know, from the Wii and the Wii U in terms of NES games. But help is on the way. With Nintendo Switch on, yes, I, I mean, know what I'm is this. automatically backed up in the cloud. I mean, they could just let us put our saves on an SD card. Save data will be safe from harm. Would that be so bad? I mean, it'd be nothing but, but like, could, like do stuff, stuff to cheat. Yeah. I know it's possible smart to do stuff to cheat. Not that. The, the smartphone app. Or just use Discord. Yeah, or Skype. Can also join it does have other features. That way everyone's having fun. Like, I don't use the stupid chat, but I do use the Splatoon 2 app to check times for stuff. The service even has the ability to enhance certain games by connecting with them, like Splatnet 2. Members will also receive special offers. What are they? We'll have more to announce in the future. You get nothing and like it! <laughs> How do you have more to announce in the future? It's coming next week! The service begins they can announce September new parts 18th. of it after it starts. Think about um, your plan is right not <laughs> saying it's a great idea, but they if can. If your family has two or more accounts, you um, can save some money with the family membership. God, how's it look? Well, we have one more thing we'd like to introduce. And I mean, they did say they were going to be doing this since, like, the beginning. Hang on. on Nintendo Switch. Got... This one here is the left NES controller. And this is the right NES controller. Oh, boy. We created them so you can play NES games like the ones you saw in the video, just like old school gamers did back in the day. Please enjoy them with Nintendo Entertainment System, Nintendo Switch Online. These controllers okay, I'm going to unleash a controversial Switch. opinion here. The NES controller was not good. Yeah, it was... It's not terrible. It was definitely good for its time, but it's yeah. really blocky. And now, really my, my question is, is this an actual controller, or is it... Oh, no, they're Joy-Cons. They're full-on Joy-Cons. Uh, we don't know if they're full feet. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Unless they're full featured Joy Cons, no. Just go buy no, new Joy Cons. Yeah, and they come in. Well, they do come in a two pack, so that's like thirty dollars each. But still, yeah, because thirty dollars each is significantly cheaper. Here's um, Pokemon Let's Go. Indeed. Today, we want to share a couple things that you and your partner can enjoy in the upcoming game. They can't evolve. During your adventure, you'll occasionally come across obstacles blocking They have path. better stats, but when it's still an Eevee. Eevee's terrible move pool. Technique to get past them. Secret techniques and you can't evolve this Eevee. That only your right, that's what I'm saying. Like, I get it for the Pikachu, but you literally the entire point of Eevee is having multiple things it can evolve into. Water. Or soar into the sky. You would think Nintendo what? Pikachu and Eevee could learn Furthermore, cut just like they already Pikachu can, I'm pretty can sure. Powerful moves for <laughs> okay, it's not Plus, I guess what they're saying is it doesn't take up a Nintendo battle slot. In handheld mode, yeah. You can change your partner's hairstyle depending on how you use the touch screen to pet it. Pokemon oh Let's god. Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee will launch on <laughs> November 16th. Okay, Along that makes that um Pokemon Sun and Moon also, thing make more you sense. Two new bundles that will include a Nintendo Switch system with Pikachu and Eevee style Joy-Con controllers. One of these two Pokemon I mean, the anime series just had like Pikachu's with different hairstyles show up. Hmm. Yep. Including one with a pompadour. The gates to the one tell <laughs> hell will open on Nintendo Switch. We found ogres in your Pikachu of course, then. We're talking about Diablo 3, <laughs> the dark fantasy adventure yeah, this game that is still not really grabbing me, but it does like a Diablo the game 3. World. From the high heavens to the burning hells, we'll explore the full story and the deadly world of Sanctuary. For loot filled bounties and oh, rifts to randomize Diablo 3. With even greater spoils. Mm -hmm. Play as a demon hunter. Barbarian. It's Diablo 3, but on the Switch. Necromancy. It looks more arcadey than the um, PC version. It does. So they haven't the put this on the stream, but apparently Animal Crossing, Animal Crossing Pocket Camp is getting a butt ton of Splatoon 2 content. Good for it, I suppose. All amiibo figures are compatible. I mean, they probably aren't going to put it here because this is about Nintendo 3DS and uh, Nintendo Switch games. 
that would make Diablo sense. 3, no, it's just I, I've been looking at it since Nintendo the uh, on <laughs> November 2nd. had this platoon thing that bumped over to their Tumblr. Yeah, the, this release date was announced today, actually. We souped up the Mario Party series with new types of gameplay on Nintendo Switch. Yes. Shake the Joy-Con controller and get your body grooving in soundstage. Or dive into the series' first four-player co-op mode, River Survival. Bet you've never played anything like Toad's Rec Room, which cleverly huh. connects two systems. Hmm. Of course, the four-player board game mode that fans love is back and full of new features. This is interesting. Character -specific I don't get to say that very often about a Mario Party title. make a game-changing comeback. Every last mini game is brand new, all 80 of them. And it is a bit weird to see Bowser part of the proceedings. You could play it is. Series of mini games to complete specific tasks on challenge road. Compete against players around the world huh. in the online Mario Thon huh. mini game mode and more. Oh, man. I'm still not going to do that Nintendo. The festivities begin but... when Super Mario Party launches October 5th. Take that, Waluigi. A new story in a village, <laughs> a secret to hide. Uh, his fan base is really sour me on the character. Yeah. Oh god, Game Freak, yeah. game Freak is doing a new game. That's why Pokemon Let's Go is coming a great out. Ow. <laughs> enjoyed lasting peace. Yeah, you don't get much more Until working title than that. Of monsters. Indeed, a yeah, game entire story takes place yeah. in this one single village. Game Freak is Take occasionally allowed to do an original game. I mean, they, they did a harmonic game. A variety of battle Trembo the Badass. When the situation elements. calls for it, enlist the aid of Not fellow villagers long, to surmount powerful threats. What secret does the village harbor? Find out when Tao yeah, releases. This kind of looks like a level 5 game, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Develop a city anytime. Oh, hi, anywhere. City Skylines. The critically huh. acclaimed city building hmm. City Skylines is coming to Nintendo yeah. I mean, honestly, that's probably one of the better ways to play something like this. You know, put 15, 20 minutes into it. I wonder if Tonsley is behind this. Wouldn't I mean, they, they did the Xbox One version. Whether you're investing in roads and power lines, public facilities, or transportation services. I, I'm actually surprised at how little of this stuff got leaked out. Kind of a big deal. Indeed. But in this game, sometimes it's the small details that stand out most. You can watch over every single citizen's movements. What's more, both previously released downloadable content. Yes, I know how City si Skylines works. Are included in the Nintendo Switch version. Oh, they're, they're, they're bringing the expansion packs. Uh, Paradox, I think, is all they're showing. So if Tantalus did it, they're doing it, you know, quietly in the back. And steel. Right. The moon has fallen. Now, the world and its inhabitants are on the brink of extinction in Damon X Machina. Oh, right, right, right. Damon X Machina. That, that was a thing that was announced during E3. Yeah, it's a very impressive thing. I think I looked it up, and this, like one of the people behind Armored Core is involved in this. Yeah, yes, I think they talked about that in the interview. By changing between projectile and melee attacks, you can adapt your weaponry to the situation at hand and gain the advantage for your side of the war. I mean, hell, if from the software isn't going to do an Armored Core title, someone else will, I guess. Indeed. Arsenal's abilities will be augmented huh. as well. Hmm. Up to four players can join forces in online co-op to take down massive bosses. So a skill tree. Yeah. Indeed. Uh, Hit like, the weak point for massive damage. I, I don't. <laughs> I don't see how a robot chin makes you or a, it makes you a better pilot. <laughs> a big adventure in a mini It's anime. Craft. Indeed. Don't in try to apply too much logic to and paper it. Cups, <laughs> Yoshi will leave a pie, gobble <laughs> Yoshi's craft. Yeah, that Mini Nintendo let out of the bag the landscape. beforehand. A well-placed egg could open a new pathway. You could turn Throw the, the egg. Head or flip the perspective. Explore every nook and cranny to track down hidden I don't particularly care the about the crafted aesthetic of these, but Woolly World was still a better Yoshi game than, Wait, like, what? the 
last couple, so... Well, yes, I guess a yes. Change in outlook really can show Yoshi's Woolly World was probably the best the since the original. Side. Right, that's, that's what I mean. It's... it's, it's, it's Yoshi's? Le I can take or leave the friend. gimmick, but if it's, at, like, good gameplay-wise... There's plenty to love on all sides of this crafty um. world. Right, Yoshi? Oh. Yoshi's Crafted World releases in Spring 2019. Tabletop gaming is a perfect huh. place for Nintendo Switch. Hmm. Uh. Asmodee Digital, a oh, leader right. in card and board Digital. games, is bringing full adaptations of best-selling tabletop games Arcazone. to the system. Build a medieval world in a full adaptation of the award-winning Carcassonne, PR about that. complete with 3D maps, solo mode, four-player local multiplayer, and the game's famous expansions available as paid DLC. Whether you I was wondering when or board games were uh, player, really going to hit the Nintendo Switch because, and a fellowship of you know, to face it's the actually a good way to play this. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Indeed. Lord of the Rings, the no. living See also the iPad. Stop the spread of four diseases and cure them all on your own or in local okay, so four where's player Settlers multiplayer the pandemic. Plus, it's yeah. individually priced DLC based on popular expansions. <laughs> that Thanks first game they had looked kind of like it, but I think the that for tabletop gaming publishers yeah. at time might be in addition to these titles. Yeah, we can also Arcazone is, that even more is on the way. in the same genre. Popular board yeah. Not oh. Catan. And a dungeon crawler based on Steve Jackson's oh, iconic There costume, it is. Munchkin. Yep. Stay I mean, tuned. if you're going to have German-style board games... Like All Catan is gonna show up. Even nations begin well, yeah, it's like, than the... yeah, it's like the it's a... the first, but it's one of the uh, yeah, iconic it's ones. That civilization. Yep. Yeah, yeah that's a bad giveaway. <laughs> like once again, well, th there's your proof that um, this was, you know, they didn't didn't rework anything because you know this got announced. Like the day after the, the, the delay. Then again, I think this is the first time we've seen any footage of Civilization VI. Although mm. I'm hesitant to call this actual footage of the game. Hold an empire well, in the palm of your never mind. Now we have some. And turn yeah, there we into go. the power elite with an exclusive four player local multiplayer. Civilization 6 ushers in a new world on Nintendo Switch. Civilization is one of those things I never got into. I've got friends who are heavily into it, but Starbox. yeah, I never gave it over in Starlink. This interplanetary adventure will push you and Fox. Uh, and yeah, th here's limits. another thing that uh, got revealed last week. You guys need all the help you can get. Peppy, Falco, and Slippy uh -huh. will provide much needed backup. Okay, can we shoot Nintendo down Switch Slippy? Exclusive missions found only in Starlink <laughs> Battle for Atlas. And we're going with the original um, configuration. It's time to lock on. Well, do a yeah. And save the Atlas Star System. Yes, th there are other configurations. No, no, I am aware of that. But the games that they've been in have not been exactly great. Uh, anywhere near as popular. Well, it's like I would like to get past the original Star Fox story. <laughs> Mix and match parts on your own R wing. When Starlink Battle for Atlas takes flight October Star 16th. Wolf McDonald. <laughs> Two more great RPGs are coming to Nintendo Switch this fall. The World Ends With You Final Remix features an all new hmm. story segment called A New Day, which contains a remixed map. I honestly Shibuya, thought Mac knew so about really the Xenoblade product. You really have to scramble to escape the area or face erasure. <laughs> new monsters Final will fix. appear as well, and so will the Reaper, Coco. The World Ends With You Final Remix launches October 12th. One day I'll play The World Ends With You. Warriors ...on a journey through the tragic history that doomed a kingdom and drove a hero down a dark path 500 years before the events of the Xenoblade Chronicles 2 game. Defend yourself from Malos and his forces using all the fury of this refined battle system, allowing you to fight as both the artificial life forms known as Blades and their masters, the Drivers. Newcomers will have the perfect place to start when Xenoblade Chronicles 2 torn... God help us when Matt gets a hold of that thing. Owners of the Xenoblade Chronicles 2 expansion pass can download this new content tomorrow. That's a week early. There's tons in store on Nintendo Switch, and even more in store for the future. 
Join more than 38 players for free to play co op Warframe. When Warframe launches on November 20th. Of course, Just Dance can never die. It's getting a Wii release. I know. <laughs> FIFA's not dead either. FIFA no. will never die until FIFA dies. And FIFA will never die until even EA though, dies. <laughs> no, I'm talking about, I'm talking about the actual organization FIFA. Yeah. NBA and even though it's a corrupt mess, they still have Nintendo way too much money to die anytime and soon. get ready to jam in the sequel to the smash hit NBA arcade game, NBA 2K Playgrounds 2, coming this fall. Well, we got game time for the Switch. I there, Nintendo. Lex Luthor. What? And the rest of the best yeah, you and missed worst it. in the all-new LEGO DC Super Villains huh. on October 16th. Oh boy, another Lego game. To it's another Lego. Well, yeah. There's Crystal Chronicles remastered. Yeah, th there we go. Hi, thing that was clearly supposed to be for announced at a Nintendo thing RPG, first, but um, Fantasy, Earthquakes Chronicles delayed the, the broadcast, so Switch. fucking Sony uh, got the announcement. And no, seriously, why is Crystal Chronicles on a PlayStation? An adventure together. It's like the entire point of Crystal Chronicles was to be on Nintendo platforms in a really stupid way. Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered Edition. Maybe we'll talk about Crystal Chronicles next. Having having online available will be useful because this is a game that actually. I mean, if you're playing it single player or even with only two players. Final Fantasy uh, 15, your Pocket Edition exploration HD will be significantly today, slower, and you at an can't cast price. most spells. Indeed. <laughs> a leveled up version of World of Final Fantasy <laughs> okay. is also on the way. Yes. I, I think this that's actually been available for about a week. This avatar change, which allows you to transform <laughs> into legendary characters from across the series' storied history. I'm like all this Final Fantasy, and yet not a mainline Final Fantasy. Many fan favorites will show up. Indeed. Well, 15 Pocket Fantasy Edition is. Maxima, when it no, it doesn't. Yeah. yeah. In addition, more Chocobo's Oh God, more Chocobo Mystery Dungeon. Someone hide Naka. Returns in superior fashion. Now you can prefer all the Also, by sharing Already purchased. Play cooperatively as well. Chocobo's Mystery Dungeon, everybody launches this winter. Oh, hey. Co op mode. Is coming to a Ogre's getting dragged. Uh, like, I guess this. I guess here's your mainline game. There you go! Thought was ah. so hard, Square! This remaster the comes first mainline Final Fantasy title in fucking ages to hit a Nintendo platform. The it's world a pop. Of evil. <laughs> and it's <laughs> one of the worst. <laughs> I was still Final a little Fantasy bit curious 12, about it, at least in so far. I mean, in I'm not exactly thrilled about, hey, it's an MMO, only, mi only minus the MM and O. Later on, oh, right. son of a bitch. Enjoy these other it's a better classics. version of yeah. the original. And, uh, <laughs> oh boy, anytime, Final Fantasy VII. Anywhere. At least it was... And nine? Final oh. Fantasy VII. Nine. You know, well, we're picking up where we left and off. <laughs> <laughs> there are sevens what almost 20 years late here's a bundle for the ultimate fan hey i'm like my wish was granted super smash brothers series i'm check like this thing out smash time oh hey i noticed a number that was missing from there no you we didn't do don't worry about, about it bundle dojo. for super smash brothers no, ultimate let, is on the let's way let's stay away from eight please <laughs> Shocking, they're doing a Nintendo Switch the bundle with the, uh, Smash the Super game. Smash Brothers and Ultimate. Of course, the set also includes a download code for Super That's Smash Brothers. Hey, I bet I could also buy like There's no better a way to sticker show your love for the game. on my Switch. But does your sticker come with a free game code? Something you'll want to get your hands on. No, but <laughs> Oh, it also comes with... These Joy-Con controllers uh. sport a new design right. as well. New Joy-Con control. Oh, I thought that would be the one that came with the uh, GameCube adapter. Because if it did, then yoink. Oh, and Joy-Cons with a really easy reproduce white line. I mean, I get this. It's branding. 
masterful in its simplicity, but also pretty really easy to replicate. Still going well? Thank you all for watching. We have a bit more to show Come you. Come on. We know there's going to be another so, character reveal. Stick around yeah. Until the very end. Also whipping the Animal Crossing fan base into a violent frenzy. The two might intersect here. Oh, son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> the blood sacrifice has worked. It's a new leaf port, isn't it? Hang on, hang on. We're not sure if this is Animal Crossing or Smash Brothers. Not a gameplay. What would, what the crap would Isabel do? I mean, I'm not saying it's not possible, but what would she do in Smash? I don't know. Is it? He's an assist trophy anyway. I don't know. Maybe it's time what? To know who's the fucking new fighter. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? But like, what would the point? Did I not fucking warn you? <laughs> Wait, <what? laughs> <laughs> There's blood and violence in the Animal Crossing fandom right now. Yeah. This is evil. <laughs> <laughs> they got cocked hard. Okay. I have a letter. <laughs> uh. okay. Oh, son of a bitch! <laughs> What the fuck is going on? I'm assuming she's an echo fighter for a villager. That would probably be the most logical. I'm like... <laughs> yeah, she's an echo fighter. She has villagers' moves. Or at least more or less. I told you. I told you. <laughs> I get to say so. <laughs> I guess you, I mean, all Tom Nook would be able to do would be, like, make Sonic pay rent. <laughs> I don't know, I kind of want to see that now. Wait, <laughs> what? Hold on. <laughs> Fucking wrong. Oh, blind. Uh oh. Wait. Oh. Oh. No. No. Oh. Wait, yes, I want to murder him. <laughs> I want to <laughs> slit that bastard's throat. Give it to me. We know your game, Tom Nook. We, we have been looking for you <laughs> Grabbing my knife. <laughs> well, I suppose this does fit in with the villain reveals. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't want to murder Tom Nook? I know. <laughs> Sure you do. Just face up, you crooked raccoon. <laughs> Dirty Tanooki bastard. Son of a bitch. Welcome to Animal Crossing 2019. Swig. <laughs> <laughs> the bloodlust has been sated. I'm like, oh good. The, yeah, the, the fucking streets aren't going to be aflame. Or maybe they are. I hope I, they're I happy. Have to... No. Yeah, I no. hope they're happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Hold on, let's go check Twitter. Let's see what's going on. I'm like... It's probably too late. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, God. Why not insert other villager here for Smash? Right. <laughs> uh, so much foreshadowing. <laughs> Indeed. It's happening! It's happening! Yep. Yep. Everybody okay. See it. Yeah. Looks like. <laughs> <laughs> the Animal Crossing on Switch. So, yeah. so if Isabel is an Echo Fighter, it looked like she has pretty significant redesigns for a lot of her moves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like instead of riding a gy gyroid, she's in a bus. Yeah. No, the bus is that assist trophy thing. Remember? Oh, oh yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, right, that was the cap and assist trophy. Huh. Hmm. Like, and they smartly did not make Tom Nook a playable character because, let's just face it, it's everyone going to be ganging up on Tom Nook. Yeah. Indeed. And again, his final smash would just be, now everybody owes me 50,000 bells. No, his, his final smash would just be foreclosure. 
<laughs> oh. Fun times. Yeah. Like, so, um, snap thoughts on the Nintendo Direct. Um, Nintendo saved us from blood spilling in the streets. <laughs> uh, the 3DS stuff was enough. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, I didn't really need Mario <clears throat> U Deluxe, but hey, uh, it's very comprehensive. Yeah, I own the Wii U version, so whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And yeah, sure. Isabel, Isabel will be neat for Smash, I guess. Well, I guess in terms of announcement, it's okay. Like, mm -hmm. outside of Animal Crossing exists. Well, yeah, honestly, some of the edge and novelty that would have been like, oh, wows, uh, aren't because of the week delay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. Then again, I, I think the biggest thing to come out of this is the the Final Fantasy stuff. Yeah, and, I actually, yeah. and actually, since I never had PlayStations, I am kind of looking forward to being able to actually play some of those, perhaps. Yeah, well, Nintendo's finally picking up where they left off. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and the Splatoon Tumblr is already revealing um, several of the new gears that are coming out. Mm. <laughs> Good to know. Yeah, pe people are losing their shit. I wonder why yep. rolls eyes. And, of course, the reset Terra crashed. I wonder why. <laughs> it, it's Yeah, it, it's such a fucking mystery. Like... <laughs> Like I said, I'm actually surprised at how much um, was that kept under wraps uh, in the... Yeah, especially given the delay. Mm -hmm. But yeah, even yeah. without the delay, they have not always had the best record at no. not having most of the stuff known. Like I said, announced. the new Super Mario Brothers U got leaked. Um, mm -hmm. Katamari Damashi Reroll actually got leaked uh, via a copywriter, a trademark thing. Yeah. Happened. Like, mm -hmm. it's just no one really could figure out what that was for. Um, I, th I think uh, there's also a mobile version of that coming as well. I, I would but, probably get the Switch version just because, well, you yeah, know, just, tactile just, yeah. buttons. Hmm, I'm hearing <laughs> Isabel might not be an Echo Fighter. Like, I think if she were an Echo Fighter, they would have said she was an Echo Fighter. Yeah, no, she, yeah. yeah she's not. Hmm. So. <clears throat> cool. But yeah, I will say, if I can get the money, I might see about getting either the um, Smash Switch or the Let's Go Pokemon Switch. <laughs> yeah, they're making me more interested in getting the Switch now. When the, when the trademark application doesn't go through on time, town working title. <laughs> <laughs> Damn straight. Uh, yeah, it's like Isabel is not, not an Echo Fighter, but her moves are still pretty Animal Crossing-y, so... Of course. I mean, they showed off a lot. <laughs> people, I there are some people on Twitter. On Twitter, well, guess I'll main Isabel for Smash. Yeah, I'm seeing that too. Though like the real it. question is, is Tails coming? I know Knuckles is an assist trophy, but Tails isn't. Mm. Well, there's still time. <laughs> it, yeah. it, if we get Tails, um, we know who my main is. <laughs> Tails Just, is the worst player. I mean, Tails already has a fighting model if you look at Sonic, not just Sonic Fighters, but the Sonic Battle on GBA. But that's up to the dude at Nintendo and whether they want to use that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Uh, yeah. Oh, and yeah, Luigi's Mansion Three is a thing at last. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, I mean, if you come to think of it, there there was a lot here. Like, um, like I don't. I guess another thing to be thinking about is what other Wii titles could come to the 3DS or GameCube <sighs> games for that matter, because that seems to be what they're in line for. I could see Pikmin yeah. One and Two coming to the 3DS. Hmm. You know, I had forgotten that the, that Pikmin 3DS game had, taken, had come out. I think the world forgot about it that. It was not particularly what people wanted yeah. for a Pikmin game. Yeah. Um, as far as other 
like um, GameCube games that I've played, I can't think of any that I'd really sure want to come to the 3DS. Yeah. I'm sure it's something Nintendo will think about a lot. Mm. You know, they are intent on supporting this thing into 2019. At Indeed. least. Yeah. Oh, let's see. Yeah. I mean, just a lot of uh, stuff here. Indeed. Oh, there were there were things before the um, Animal Crossing announcements. People were like, fuck Smash. Immediately afterwards. Animal Crossing. Ah! That's that's the least surprising thing. Yeah. Indeed. Nintendo's good at the fake outs. They are. That's why I said, you know, it's probably, you know, it could be both. And hey, it's both. Yeah, I'm going to need to probably fire up Smash Bros. on my 3DS or something and check Villager's moveset. Because it looks like Isabelle is using a lot of similar moveset of Villager's they, they, moveset. They, a lot of them seem to work similarly, but they aren't. Like, her up B looks like it's uh, balloons on a chair instead of just, like, literally balloons, well, I, mean, they, I think. I wouldn't be shocked if they made it look different, but they'll probably still act similar. That's the whole point of Echo Fighters. Well, Villager, she's not an Echo Fighter. She's listed mm. on the official Smash site as a new number. Hmm. Weird. Unless she just has diff she has similar moveset but just different values. She could be like the Pichu of Animal Fighter. Or Animal Fighter. Um, villager. <laughs> Animal <laughs> Fighter. That's a new game title right there you guys can have for free. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a very generic fighter at that. Like... Animal Fighter. <laughs> Sound like something that you have heard about back in the 16-bit era. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One of my um, people I follow, I licked a Switch card on stream because I was wrong. Luca was messing around with the timeline and accidentally wiped Final Fantasy VIII from existence. That's why it's not on the Switch. I don't have a problem with this. You're, you're, you're I fine. I complain. You did a good service for the rest of mankind there. We salute you. Yeah. There'll be 21 guns at your funeral. <laughs> I really hate Final Fantasy VIII. <laughs> yeah, Isabel is number 68. Oh, fuck, one more and they'll have 69. Please let it be Tails. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna, have, they're gonna have to reveal two characters in one thing. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, oh God. Like, there will still be things, but they they, yeah. they can't leave it at, oh, and the game has 69 fighters. <laughs> Never asking for anything ever again. <laughs> Masahiro Sakurai. <laughs> At this very hard, though, I wouldn't be surprised if he actually said it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like, fuck, who, who else other than Tails would we want in Smash? Jesus Christ. Plenty of people. There's, so has um, Shadow already been revealed as an assist trophy? No. Um... No. I'm trying to remember. I think he has been actually. Yeah, I thought I saw him. Was in four. Yeah. Not specifically revealed him as the, for this, so it's still possible that he will be like Echo Sonic or something. Yeah. Yeah. I, no, I wouldn't be surprised if there's people screaming for him still. Yeah, Tails would need to be a different fighter. Yeah. Because Tails I mean, might okay, be able to Tails mega might be a Mega everything. Man Echo, if they really wanted to stretch it, because he could use a, probably use a similar move set. Yeah, I can see that actually. Doesn't have any punches or kicks, right? I don't <laughs> think so. No, he doesn't. He just uses his Buster. Yeah, and Tails has his own Buster he made, so I can. I see know, that. but he doesn't have that many different moves. 
You didn't play Sonic Battle, did you? I will concede that I did not play Sonic Battle. I also do not think that they would draw extensively from Sonic Battle for a Well, there, remember, there's Although also... There is also Sonic <laughs> Fighters, the old arcade game. Likewise. Yep. So they'd, prob they'd probably rather draw mostly from stuff that he's is in games that people actually liked. <laughs> Fuck you. So like lying, and they yeah. probably can't get away with not putting in a stupid fake ring bomb. Oh yeah. Although in this game where rings are not your life it will be less, you know, terrible to have a fake ring bomb as your primary weapon. But yeah, the main reason is because that while Tails can use uh, spring pads, uh, he also can just fly, and that would be a better up B. Mm -hmm. That's why he wouldn't be a Sonic Echo. There's no way in hell right, he'd be a why, Sonic Echo. Could, right, that's why he would. Yeah. Otherwise, I mean, he can do everything that Sonic does pretty much. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't be shocked if he had a spin dash, because he's the one who taught Sonic to spin dash. The rev up spin dash, as yeah. opposed to just the roll around on Yeah, the... he's the one who taught him how to rev it. I wonder if Tails uses his tails to, like, brace himself for that. Um... I mean, I know they're visibly flapping. I'm just thinking yeah. if Tails invented it, if he was able to come up with it because he had the tails as stabilizers or something, and then Sonic was able to figure it out just because he's so fast. Mm. Of course, Isabella's the top trend on Twitter right now. Mm. Animal Crossing is not too far behind. No. Hope just <clears throat> in third place right now. Tom Nook. Peach end. <laughs> yeah, from, from the uh, Mario U thing where... I know. Yeah. I know. There, there are some people on Twitter. Friend. Please be... Toadette, Toadette, Toadette turns into, I'm a real girl now. Squall, how do you feel about Final Fantasy VIII being snubbed for a port again in favor of the others? Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Not wrong. <laughs> yeah, people notice... <laughs> the Final Fantasy 8 well, size. When you go 7, 8, 9, or 7, 9, 10, 12. <laughs> yeah. And the Switch can't run Final Fantasy 11, I don't think. It can. Okay. It could. Well, A toaster could run 11. It can't work very well with Final <laughs> Fantasy 11 because of the server thing. <clears throat> Square Enix is ignoring Final Fantasy 8. <laughs> like. Please be gentle with my precious pup. Don't hurt her. In response to <laughs> Isabel being in smack. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but social media is fun when... Uh, when uh, things are not dire. I'm just the glad time. there are Animal Crossing yeah. fan fans burning shit in the street. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Though they might know, be flipping I, cars I, 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 right I still, now. I still, I still miss the uh, the idea of the uh, <laughs> uh, Tom Nook as our villain reveal. Since they've been doing <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't mind beating Tom Nook's face into the dirt. I doubt many people would complain about doing that. <laughs> Money. <laughs> Still, glad we broadcasted this. Mm -hmm. Indeed. <laughs> All right. Ah, right. So, any final words before we wrap this up? Um, they pretty interesting. They still weren't kidding about Smash Ultimate. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> is here. <laughs> Indeed. Yep. I'm like. We probably still got some more Super Smash Brothers. Yeah, um, I've heard rumors that potentially sometime in October we're going to have one last Smash. There's probably going to be at least two more. Yeah. Because yeah. you think they're going to leave it on number 69? No. Yeah, no. <laughs> think, yes. Just think about that for a second. Yeah. <laughs> it's already in my mind. <laughs> 
I mean, I wouldn't mind if Tails was number 69. I mean, wait, what? <laughs> someone on one of the chans, wouldn't. someone on one of the chans who could guess Isabel correctly said that Ken and Incineroar will be in, so. Who? Ken from, Ken Street, from Fighter Street Fighter and Incineroar is a Pokemon. Incineroar, the Lucha Pokemon. Okay, mm. another Lucha Pokemon. The fire starter from Alola. Yeah. Uh, the, the fire mm. heal Lucha cat. I still want Tails. Just give me Tails. Tails would be nice. I wouldn't mind so the... the f Sonic deserves more than one character's representation considering how many other franchises are getting more than one's character representation. If you know we just... think a second rep representation, I'm pretty sure Sonic can. I'm... You know everyone wants to relive the 90s Sonic and Tails versus Mario and Luigi. <laughs> you but know Sonic that... Was never in... But Sonic was never in Captain N. Get out. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Oh god, they, I'm just imagining it right now. <laughs> yeah, people are like, there's five games I've con I'm 100% buying. <laughs> Let's see if we can name them, boys. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I think we're good here. Alright. Alright, um, so be sure to tune in tomorrow when we um, multiplayer uh, session us some golf. Oh man, golf. Alright, until then, uh, catch you later.